Now ladies and gentlemen, this year we have sold two cluster homes over here and today we have our third one coming up. Welcome to a five bedroom, four bathroom unit right over here in the heart of Landor Transformation. I welcome all of you back home to Attila Villas. Let's go. So if this is your first time together with us at Attila Villas, this is a 36 unit, all free whole cluster house with facilities right over here in the heart of Lentor. And if you were to look over to my left hand side, that will be your Lentor MRT station right over there. If you were to walk from Attila Villas right over to Lentor MRT, it will take you about 8 minutes. So we are also in a 1km radius towards CHIJ St Nicholas Primary School, so why not stay in with me? Let's head in, let's check out this beautiful cluster home. Let's go. Now welcome to our unit right over here in Attila Villa. So this is a 5 bed, 5 bath, 3186 square feet spanning over 5 storeys with a built-in lift right over here in Attila Villas. And as we take you through this entire home tour today, we are also going to adopt the lens of a contractor and to share with you roughly how much it takes for you to reinstate some of the things as well as add your specific designs that you are interested in. We are also going to share with you the differences between all the inter-terraces right over here in Attila Villas because some span from about 2,008 square feet all the way up to 3,002 square feet. So we will be highlighting all these differences for you to consider. Now, I think one special feature of our unit is that you have this exterior porch right on the outside because when it's raining, you do not have to wear your wet shoes into the house and instead you can leave them outside under the awning and the shelter. So I think this is a great differentiating point as compared to the other units right over here at Taylor Villas. And as you step into the living room, I think this is a great space to position a three-seater sofa. Now, our owners have already moved out of this house and they are very sincere on selling. And directly in the front, you also have this feature wall made out of quarry stones whereby these are individually assembled. And also you can look to spend about $1,000 $200 to strip off this feature wall and to make good the wall for your next usage. Now as you flow into the rest of the house, you also see a level 1 powder room right over here and I think this is absolutely amazing because this is available in all units. This is what we call a long neck tap whereby basically your water outlets come from the top. So this is a great conversation starter if your guests were to come over. Now as we step into the living as well as the dining area, you are greeted by this beautiful greenery view. Now on the left hand side, our owners use this as their main kitchen. However, if you wish to conceptualize a dry as well as a wet kitchen concept, you can do so in this particular 3186 square feet um, kind of configuration because our external patio space right over here can potentially accommodate a wet kitchen concept. So you can potentially do a dry kitchen concept as well as a wet kitchen concept right outside. And over here, this will be a great area for you to actually set up your dining area. So you can potentially set up a seven seater dining set over here by adjoining the table towards this feature wall over here and then to have it extend out three seaters by each side as well as one right over here. So before we check out the rest of the home, we also want to address the number one question that a lot of viewers are having. Is there an oversupply situation right over here in the Lentor area? Now we have exclusive data from Popnex which tells us there is a very interesting observation. So as you can see on the map, there are seven potential condo developments right over here surrounding Lentor MRT station. So the oversupply is definitely a very valid concern. However, we've also dived deep and studied one of the recent launches, Lentor Hill Residences, to study where are the buyers actually coming from uh, for Lentor Hill Residences. So we see a lot of the buyers actually streaming in from Districts 19, District 20, as well as District 27. So we also went to study what is the potential MOP supply there because a lot of these condo upgraders are actually getting their money from the HDB MOP profits. So if you were to look at the projected supply of the HDB MOPs around these districts in the next 5 to 10 years, well, we are looking at a total of 55,000 units hitting their MOP. And just 10% of these 55,000 units will bring us at about 5,500 units. And just assuming that 10% of these upgraders will choose to buy into the Lentor area, then a 5,000 fire demand would potentially diminish up all the supply in the future. But if you like to solidify your exit strategy and ensure that you are being positioned in the rarest asset class, then definitely do put your money in a landed property because in terms of a landed supply, we are definitely a lot lesser as compared to the condos to guarantee a good exit strategy. So with that, let's head down and check out the basement. Let's go. And welcome down to the basement and in the basement area we also have a separated helpers room as well as a bomb shelter so you really don't have to compromise on storage space and if you to check outside directly outside the house you also have two private car park lots as well as a lot of car pantry space right on the outside so you have a lot of space for storage as well as to park your cars 
So now directly behind us, we also have this proposed wet kitchen area right over here. So on the floor plan by the developers, this was the original wet kitchen area. But there are a lot of flexibility to this space. You can change it to a study room as well as a guest room because you have another WC right over here for your helper as well as your guests to use. So I think the great thing about this cluster house is that this lift serves all the way down to the basement area. So if you were to come back with your groceries, you can just straight away take the lift up to level 1 because this is not found in all cluster homes in Singapore. So with that being said, I'll see you directly at level 2. See you. So we are now at level 2, so this is the bedroom level. So why not you head in with me and check out the master bedroom. Let's go. So right now we are in the master bedroom and I think this is great because you have your own personal walk-in wardrobe directly on the inside and right over here for all this feature wall you can completely hack all of them off. Now we already have a potential rendering for you if you were to spruce up this entire place as well as make it more space efficient and we also have all the quotations for direct contractor costing if you were to decide to redo this entire space over here. Now, if you were to step into this bathroom right over here, now the developers have implemented a sunken bath concept. Now, let's say if you were to redo this entire bathroom by changing out all the tiles, as well as the WC and the sink, this will set you back by about eight to $9,000 per bathroom. So with that, let's head across. Let's check out the other bedroom facing the greenery. Let's go. So directly across the master bedroom, we are stepping into the second bedroom right over here. Now the second bedroom has this beautiful greenery facing right over here. Now so if you are concerned that this piece of land might potentially uh, be rebuilt into something in the future, then we have already helped you to address that concern. Now this piece of land is actually privately owned and the topography of the land is also slightly slanted. So this will be slightly more challenging if you were to do piling works right over here and their license to rebuild uh, the terrace homes over here have also expired as of 2022. So I think you can be quite certain that this view over here will stay for a long time to come. So this room also comes with its ensuite bathroom. So with that, let's head up and let's check out level 3 bedrooms. Let's go. Now we are now in the third bedroom right over here and in this place, we used to have two smaller bedrooms. So right over here, there used to be two doors. One you could open this way and another you could open this way. But the owner has completely hacked down the door in the middle to form a larger bedroom size over here. So they have also built in carpentry over here as well as on my right hand side. And towards my back, you also have a potential to create an ensuite bathroom. So I think that's great if you like to turn this into an ensuite bedroom. Else you can also use this as a study and maintain a common bathroom right outside. So I think for a lot of cluster homes that are facing towards each other, I think what is great about our unit is that because we are positioned almost at the corner, you get this small pocket of unblocked view over here instead of facing directly to our neighbours. So I think that's an added benefit about our unit. So directly opposite us, this will bring us to our last and final ensuite bedroom over here, also facing towards this greenery view. For this particular room, our owners used to use this as a study room, so they have all this feature wall right over here. But like I said, if you want to completely hack off as well as make good the wall, this will cost you no more than $600 to $650. So with that, let's hit up and I want to show you the best part about this home. Let's go. Now welcome everybody up to the roof terrace. So I think you are greeted by this beautiful greenery view and you can also potentially have a hot pot right over here with your family. So I think what is a great addition to this roof terrace right over here is that if you were to completely deck up this entire area with timber, I think it looks super beautiful. And I think what you can potentially do is to install your own zip tracks and to seal up this entire roof terrace area. And I think that'll be absolutely great. So I think right now, if you are in the market hunting for a property to upgrade to, then I think these are few options that you have. So you can potentially upgrade to a four-bedroom condo or even a five-bedroom condo versus a nine-nine years landed versus a cluster freehold house or even a freehold inter-terraces house. Now we have all the numbers right over here for you. So for example, the new launches surrounding us, they are already transacting at about 2.9 odd million for the four bedders, and these are all leasehold in nature. If you were to look at some 99 years cluster homes around this area, you have properties like Horizon Garden as well as Horizon Green. Now these are already transacting at about 2.85 to about 3 million, and these are all transacted prices. So right over here at Attila Villas, you have a freehold cluster house at 3186 square feet that comes with a lift at $3.3 million negotiable. Our owners will seriously consider any offers above $3.2 million. And lastly, if you were to also consider a freehold inter-terrace, the cheapest freehold inter-terrace that you can find over here is starting from $3.6 million. And that is not considering the potential a and works that you have to put into it, uh, setting you back by about $400 to $500K, bringing your overall quantum to about the $4 million range. So I would say at $3.3 million, Attila Villas freehold with lifts is at a very very sweet spot. 
So with that being said, let's head over to the other side of the roof terrace and wrap up the home tour video. Let's go. So we are towards the final parts of the home tour video. I think this is a great area to do your washing. So a lot of homeowners, they actually position their washers and dryers right over here. You zip check out the entire uh, top roofing space. You polish up your decking. I think this will be a great area to do your laundry. Now with that, we come to the end of today's home tour video. If you're interested to view this 5 bed, 5 bath, 3186 square feet with a built-in lift that is freehold in tenure with a beautiful greenery view right over here, then don't forget to give me a call. My name is Bing Yu. I run Bing Yu Divisions. Thank you guys. Take care. I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.